Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, welcome to your March 2020 love and romance reading. I hope you're all doing well. We are going to get into this right away. First, we are going to be pulling a few oracle cards, and then we are going to get into it with tarot and see what's going on with you guys for this month. I do want to remind you guys quickly that if this reading does not resonate with you, please be sure to check out your other signs. And I could be reading the energy of you or your person, so please feel free to swap the roles. And if this message does resonate with you, uh, there is an extended in the description box below. Uh, towards the end of the reading, I will be going over what that extended reading will include because I am trying to uh, customize those extendeds uh, based around what we find in this current reading. All right, Scorpios, let's get started here. Let's pull the overall energy. Love and Romance, March 2020 for my Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, just wanted to pop out. A win-win outcome is forecast. Your commitment is being tested. All right. Let's pull one more card here. Actually, a couple more. I'm in an orc mood. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Feel free to skip ahead if you'd like. Overall energy, please. Love begins. All right, and let's pull a few more oracle cards for my Scorpios. Please show me the messages that need to be heard. Love and romance. Getting to know each other. You deserve love. very soon all right i feel like this may have been sorry guys i did not realize you could not see that i'm gonna scoot all this over i feel like you may have met someone here um, this could have been a situation that didn't quite get up off the ground, or maybe it has, but I'm feeling a bit of disruption here. You could be not talking to this person, or maybe there is minimal communication here, but I'm really feeling like something happened. But I'm really feeling here that with this win-win outcome as forecast, things are really going to take a turn for the better, especially with love begins, your commitment is being tested. It's almost like some sort of test for this connection. Uh, and we do have very soon, so I feel like some answers or clarity regarding this situation will be coming to you soon. So, with that in mind, let's get into this with tarot. All right, let's get started here. We are going to be taking a look at the situation, what's helping or hindering the situation, the past, uh, what is on your person's mind or how they're feeling, what's on your mind, how you're feeling, and the overall potential outcome. Oops. Too many cards there. Please make it clear. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles in the reversed. Nine of Cups. The Magician in the reversed. Page of Pentacles in the reversed. Knight of Cups. Before we get into clarifying all this, um, I do want to go over what I'm seeing. Currently with the Knight of Pentacles, 
you are single here is what I'm really feeling. You're doing your own thing. In the past, it looks like you were good. You were happy. Uh, Nine of Cups is about uh, self-fulfillment, whether it was with this person or uh, on your own. But it seems to me like you met someone here and there is some stagnation. It's kind of funny how this entire side of the spread has a yellow background. And for me, yellow is like, it's slow. Um, I understand that that's not typically what this means. However, that's what I'm picking up here. Almost like a yellow light. It's not completely stopped, but it, there's stagnation. It, it's slow. But then the outcome, there's a blue background. There's emotion here. There's an offer coming in for you. Um, Knight of Pentacles in the reversed. It's like an offer isn't coming in. Someone here isn't manifesting this with the magician in the reversed. Page of Pentacles in the reversed. This may be you uh, pulling away in response to this person not really taking action. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is the slowest moving knight in the deck. And when he's in reverse, it's just, he's not even on the horse at that point. Uh, so you may be focusing on you, focusing on your money, just doing you basically, because you're not really seeing an offer coming in here. And you might be wondering whether or not you should keep, um, keep up with this connection but I have a feeling like you were pretty happy with this person but getting to know each other you deserve love very soon with these cars over here you may have been getting to know this person and you want something is what I'm feeling you deserve love you know this but I'm just picking up like a lot of you know it is what it is that you want you're not going to be settling for less um, and you're willing to move on if this person isn't actually going to come forward, but it looks like they are. So with this, your commitment is being tested. This might be the universe asking you, you know, are you sure you want this? So let's get into this and start clarifying. I want to know more about the nine of pentacles, please, in the current situation. Please make it clear. Seven of Wands. So someone here, this could be you or your person, but someone has their defenses up. In this uh, Seven of Wands card, you know, she's in her bubble. This could be man or woman, doesn't matter. You're your person. I have a feeling, I mean, we are going to have to get a bit more about this. But someone may be... Just feeling a bit indecisive, not because they don't want to move into this connection because something's coming in, but someone may just be in single mode right now. I want to know more about this Nine of Cups in the past. I feel like someone here was just kind of focusing on themselves. Um, just maybe not even looking for a relationship when the other person came along. Sorry, my neighbors are loud. Okay, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups. That's what I meant, but... I want to know more about this, the past. I feel like you met someone here and you're really happy with them. Um, but there's stagnation here with this person actually coming in with an offer. Tell me more. 
Queen of Swords. Let's grab another card for the current situation. Sorry, guys. I'm really trying to figure this out so I don't keep talking in circles. So I can get a bit confusing sometimes. Okay. Five of Cups in the reversed. Acceptance. I want to know what what is this Queen of Swords about? Feel free to skip ahead, guys. I apologize. Um, I just when there are court cards, it's often necessary for me to clarify these. Three of Wands. And tell me more about the Knight of Cups here. The Sun Leo energy, you could be dealing with one or have this in your chart. Sorry guys, I wanted to take a moment to meditate on uh, these cards very quickly. And what I'm really feeling here is that in the past, you know, you may have met someone and they just really made you happy. You saw them as the Knight of Cups. They were treating you uh, like the Knight of Cups. You know, they may have been courting you. Feel free to swap the roles here um, and gender does not matter either. I'm just reading the energy because it looks like the Queen of Swords right here and the Knight of Cups right here are, you know, two people kind of, you know, she's looking at him. And I feel like there was a very, very special like romance and connection that was going on here where both people were really, really fulfilled. I think this person saw you as the sun and you saw them as the sun. There was a lot of happiness in this connection. And someone here may have communicated a message. I feel like the queen of wands here is looking at this knight of cups and really acknowledging how special this connection is, is feeling certain, has kind of looked at the situation from not only an emotional standpoint but a logical standpoint and it's like you know hey you make me happy this three of wands you could be dealing with someone at a dis at a distance but you don't need to be um but this is all about waiting for your ships to come in i feel like a message may have been sent to this person uh some communication opening up and letting them know how you feel because there's happiness here, there's wish fulfillment. And there, it, it's almost like, I, don't, I can't even really figure out what went wrong here in the past. But with the current situation, it seems like this connection did not progress, okay? This person may have said that they aren't ready for a relationship yet, or they just want to see where it goes. But there were two people that were very, very happy. I mean, love begins. So I'm really feeling that a message was sent here, or something was relayed, something was communicated. And if it wasn't straightforward, it was implied. like and this three of wands is looking at this person or at the sun these two people are looking over here and this person or these two people are not looking back so i'm really picking up here that despite this incredible connection this person making you happy you making them happy this person may have wanted to take it slow or they felt like they were not ready 
I don't see any malicious behavior here. I don't see anything that is a red flag, at least for now. But because this person, this knight, is looking almost at me and the sun, you know, she's just looking up at the sun. This person, despite this incredible connection, could have been really focused on doing their own thing in their own life. Because the sun, this is Leo energy, this is creativity, um, playfulness. This could have been a very playful, lighthearted connection. But the Knight of Cups delivers, you know? He's, he's definitely, and we see him again over here coming in. There is definitely a strong connection, but this person could have felt like they weren't ready But you really like this person. I'm seeing that, you know, you are content. You are looking at this person almost in awe over here. You might find them extremely attractive. But you see them as the real deal. And so I think that a lot of you may have been confused as to why this person didn't want to move into anything because this is not the knight of cups in reverse so this person was treating you well but with the not the nine of cups here what i'm really feeling is it could be you know you felt very happy with this person but and they're happy with you but their arms this could be them with their arms crossed like I said, really focusing on their own self-fulfillment at this point in time. And you may be kind of waiting for this person. And with the nine of pentacles here, you may just be single. And it's almost like you, you could see this person as the seven of wands kind of there's a barrier around them that you feel like you can't really get through. With you looking at this as the Queen of Swords, you may just be like, okay, well, if this person isn't ready to move into anything, there's nothing that I can really do now. I just have to accept that. So you're really sad about it, but you're just doing you right here in this moment. I feel like you are still talking to this person, but there's no progress. For some of you, you may not be. This situation could have felt like it died out a bit or almost like the flame was lost because there was someone that wasn't contributing to the connection like they were in the past maybe when you two first met so i feel like you may be seeing this person with a bubble around them you know there's nothing you can do if this person isn't ready they're not ready you're sad about it but you're just doing you you're starting to accept it and you may even be putting your defenses up and feeling like, well, if this person isn't ready, then I can't really keep contributing to this connection either because I'm just going to get my heart broken. I can't keep doing this. If this person is not willing to be on my level, then I just got to focus on me too. So... And, and I applaud you for that because sometimes people may have the tendency to kind of cling on very tightly and that not only does that get in the way of really manifesting what it is that you want, but it's also not healthy for our state of mind to be so focused on another person. So I think that despite the sadness here, you just started to focus on you. This person had their guard up, you know, and, and it's not like they're completely blocking it, but they're just, 
they may be kind of keeping their distance or they just seem busy with a lot of other areas of their life. So it's almost like you, you may have started to kind of mirror that. It's like, okay, you're focusing on you, then I guess I'm just gonna move on and do me too. And you're not doing it like on purpose, you're doing it because you feel like this is the healthiest option for you and it definitely is. So after this, I'm really feeling like, yeah, you were just starting to move on here. I do wanna know more about this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And this was because there was nothing happening. This, this uh, Knight was not offering anything. Tell me more, please, about the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And I think you were really thrown off by this because you really like this person, but I don't see, I understand there was sadness, but I think you were just getting to know each other at this point and it seemed like it was going somewhere. Yeah, regarding movement here, feeling stuck. It's almost like things are still, there may still be communication but it's not happening fast. It's like, things really feel like they are up in the air. And for others of you, there may not be communication. You could have just cut your losses and decided, hey, I gotta just do me. But I don't see any, you know, 10 of swords pain here. It was kind of just like, Okay, well, there's nothing I can do. I really care about you. I want to move into something. You make me happy. This person, it's like you make them happy too, but they're still resistant. They're stuck. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. They could just be really, really focused on their 3D life, just focusing on them. And with the Eight of Wands, really putting in their energy because Eight of Wands is all about quick energy, communication, movement. I'm really feeling like this person is stuck and stagnant because they could be putting um, energy into other areas of their life. I do want to know more about the Eight of Wands, though. Where, where is this energy being put into? Please make it clear. Nine of Swords in the reversed. Something may have happened here that's really stressing them out in their life that they're trying to get out of. This could be anything, okay? So take what resonates. But this could be, you know, a family situation, a work situation, um, a past connection. But there's energy that is being put into relieving themselves of some sort of anxiety and pain that they're dealing with. Nine of Swords is very, very, very heavy. This person could be working on themselves. This person isn't moving on. <laughs> But there's something going on for this person at a deeper level that it seems like they're, they're trying to get out of this. Whatever is causing them to feel mentally or emotionally stuck. And because this is pentacles, this could be something in the 3D, you know, like I said, work, family, um, 
something that's going on that is really stressing them out. Something that this person may feel like they need to take care of before they move into anything. But there's something here that's really weighing them down that is causing or contributing at the very least to this stagnation and why there is no movement with this person. And they may be trying to I just feel like this person kind of has their defenses up despite them being very happy with you. But, and this person could have communicated and told you about what it is that they're going through for some of you. And so you may know about this. But at the end of the day, you were just like, okay, well, if that's the case, I just kind of have to accept it and move forward with my life. I can't keep ruminating over this. I can't keep thinking about this. I do want to know more about the magician down here. Please make it clear. in reverse yeah seven of pentacles in the reversed this person completely pulled back they were not investing anymore it's like I don't this person for some of you could have felt like this they ghosted you but for others of you it kind of seemed like communication became like less and less and less and less or you were talking every day at one point and then it was every couple days and then it was almost like it turned into breadcrumbing tell me more about the magician in the reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse please And I think that also with this, it's like you may have also stopped offering your pentacle, you know, two pentacles right there. And you're trying to, because I feel like there was pain, especially with this five of cups in reversed. So you may be just moving forward, focusing on releasing yourself from this nine of swords energy. Because I have a feeling that, because I didn't see the card for this before, but this definitely stirred some emotions up within you for some of you the hierophant this is very very repetitive from a, a few of my other readings if you are dealing with um someone that has libra in the in their chart or you do Please check out my Libra reading because this is reflecting a lot of that reading. But yeah, this person pulled back and then we have Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Not initiating, okay? The Hierophant is regarding commitment, but the Hierophant is also about your belief system, values, things of that nature. So this person may have felt like they needed to, base, this is just for some of you, based on their own values and beliefs, they just had to pull away and focus on other areas of their life. So they withdrew. And that caused you pain. Tell me more about the Magician in Reverse Seven of Pentacles in Reverse the Hero. This person was not putting in the effort and still currently may not be 
uh, to take this connection to the next level is what I'm really feeling. The world. Yeah, this person... It's like this person may have felt like they needed to really complete something first in their life. It's a world that's Capricorn energy. This is Taurus, so you could have some of that in your chart or be dealing with one, but... At this time, this this person simply felt that they could no longer invest in this connection, so they weren't putting forth that effort. I want to get an oracle card. Or this could be you down here, the magician in reverse, because like I said, this could be swapped, but... Due to this stagnation, this could have been your response, you know, no longer contributing to this connection because it wasn't being returned. There may have been some indecision on that person's part. So you may have felt like, well, I'm, I'm no longer going to invest here in trying to get this to a level, you know, the next level of commitment or a commitment in general. And you may have decided that you needed to, to end this, to walk away, to just close this cycle for now. Not enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, ego, fear, issues, jealousy. I have a feeling, yeah, someone here, there wasn't enough reciprocation if this is you down here okay because this can go two ways someone here either this is a response to someone else's indecision and lack of uh, contribution lack of effort uh, seven pentacles in reverse you weren't seeing any growth so you stopped investing because that aligns with your own values and belief system you're just going to close this okay because you're not seeing the effort you're not going to be holding on there wasn't enough here you weren't seeing enough you were feeling frustrated okay the other scenario that i'm seeing because i really feel like you are at the receiving end of this but the other scenario I'm seeing is that someone here really felt that it was not time to invest in taking this connection to the next level. So they pulled their investments, you know, out of this, they stopped investing and they chose to close the cycle for now. They may have just wanted to focus on their own things. And this could have had to do with self-sabotage fear issues as to why they decided to pull away if this connection was really as bright and just as good as I'm seeing it here if someone wasn't putting in the effort weren't putting in enough effort so I feel like the person that wasn't putting in enough effort could have been dealing with just self-sabotage, fear issues about moving into a commitment. And the person on the receiving end was really frustrated. I want to know more about this page of pentacles in the reverse, please. This is indecision. Four of Wands in the reversed. Lack of stability here. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles in the reverse and the Four of Wands in the reverse. Lots of blocked energy.
yeah six of swords in the reverse so it's like i'm feeling like this person was really indecisive this could have been your person but someone decided to kind of close out this cycle could be either people but up here it's like not offering their pentacle there's a lack of stability maybe you're no longer offering your pentacle because there's a lack of stability and you feel like this person is voluntarily blocking this connection and putting themselves in this bubble or you are feeling that because this person and how they're not contributing to this you are no longer really offering your pentacle you're not really sure how you want to move forward here um you might accept their pentacle but there's some indecision you, you might be feeling okay well obviously this isn't the time and you feel like there's just an overall lack of stability here or this person's indecision could be contributing to the overall lack of stability because they are blocking this connection from moving uh, farther because when this is upright, this is, you know, going into a boat, this is the Six of Swords going to a better place, you know, light at the end of the tunnel. But when it's in reverse, this is like blocking that. So you may be feeling like there's so much stagnation. This isn't really going anywhere. This person is blocking this. I'm not really even sure anymore. Things were so great in the past, but now it's like everything lost its momentum. Can we even get back out of this? But someone definitely feels resistance here. I do want to pull an oracle card for this, for the page of pentacles in the reverse, the four of wands in reverse, and the six of swords in reverse, lots of black energy. And it's a bit difficult for me to decipher who is actually who. Usually this is the viewer and how they're feeling, but I'm really feeling like because this is a general reading, it's going to be depending on who you are because I can I'm able to read both of these in two different ways there's definitely two different scenarios going on here coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship hmm <sighs> you may still be talking to this person There may still be a friendship. Or there's a, if this isn't you, someone may be desiring to do that. Like they're still indecisive. There's indecision, maybe sending a message here with a pentacle, page of pentacles in the reversed. It hasn't happened yet. And maybe they're not sure if they should reach out because they understand that there is a lack of stability here and that this connection is being blocked or someone may feel that there's just really unfinished business here as well with the Six of Swords in reverse. Something wasn't put to a complete end or even if it was, it still feels like there's something that's there. Someone may want to reach out here and, and talk about this situation. Tell me more about the current situation. I want an oracle card for the Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles and Five of Cups in the reverse, please, for my Scorpios. Q 
healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, I feel well, this person could have been dealing with a toxic relationship in the past, so that could be why they're not really ready to move into anything. This is why there might be stagnation, like this person is trying to work through maybe a past breakup or past pain. If this isn't you that's trying to really release emotions from this, this could be both of you. But, or this could be you, you know, accepting the situation with this healing heart, trying to protect yourself, just do you. This person didn't want to move in, into anything. Okay, there's nothing you can do. Uh, I don't really feel like there was any toxicity here. It's going to depend on your situation, but I think you're trying to get over this. And this could be this person reaching out and asking to talk or grab coffee or approaching you as a friend. And I think this might throw you a bit off because there's frustration here. You're trying to heal from this. But I'm definitely feeling like someone does want to reach out. Someone does want to talk about this, especially with this coffee cup. But there's still indecision, lack of movement. Someone with all these all this blocked energy, this person may have wanted to continue being friends, but you may have just decided you needed to block this connection because you needed to heal. So for some of you, you may not be talking. Just picking up a lot of different scenarios here. I want to know more about this Knight of Cups, please, and the outcome, potential outcome. For some of you that, you know, this wasn't a huge heartbreak. I mean, for some of you, it was a big heartbreak. But for others of you that weren't completely just disrupted by this, um, ending or the stagnation, you were definitely still feeling a little bit stuck. Yeah, okay, Queen of Wands. This person is gonna initiate here something. Tell me more. Someone is feeling confident about coming forward. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Someone is going to be taking action here. Five of Wands. This is really like the Libra reading. Please, you guys, check out the Libra reading if... You guys have Libra in your chart or your person does, but there's some, okay, tell me more about this. Queen of Wands and Five of Wands. The Lovers. We have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Um, I want to know more about... Sorry guys, I got a phone call. Uh, tell me more about the Knight of Cups and Queen of Wands, Five of Wands and the Lovers. Wedding rings, union, a wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. But I need to know more about this um, Five of Wands here because 
I think I, I understand what it's saying, but I want to make sure. Tell me more about this Five of Wands, please. Six of Cups in the Reversed. Okay, I get what this is saying. So, I'm feeling like an offer is definitely coming in. This could be an apology, and I miss you, but something that is going to maybe even surprise you, but it's going to make you feel good is, is what I'm getting. Something is coming in with the Queen of Wands. This is about initiation, confidence. This person may be taking action towards dealing with this conflict. A six of Cups in the reverse for me it can be being stuck in the past, really holding on to something. And this is what this person may have been dealing with, taking action, dealing with like there was stagnation because this person was really focused on relieving themselves from this nine of swords energy that they were in and we have healing from heartbreak uh freedom from toxic relationship or, or addiction so this person could have been letting go let, trying to let go of the past year this is just for some of you for others of you this person could have just been trying to let go of something from their past, even if it's not a person, it could be an addiction, it could just, could really be anything here. But this person was dealing with a lot of conflict here. And I think this is inner conflict regarding them being stuck in the past. Or if there was any conflict for some of you in the past, they want to come in and they want to, to address this and offer an, an apology is what I'm really feeling. But with the lovers and wedding rings, which is, you know, union, soul connection, wedding, married, I feel like this person is really conflicted about what to do here. I think they were stuck in the past. And that is what contributed to this stagnation regarding them taking action towards the lovers with you. So, yeah, it's like up here, this person was blocking this connection. There was a lack of stability because they were being indecisive but meeting and conversing. You recently may have just started talking to this person again, or they might reach out. You, This may not have happened yet, but down here, yeah, I'm feeling like this, in the past it wasn't offering you enough, so you, you felt like you had to move on and protect your heart. But this person, I think this person's really stuck on you though. It could be stuck in the past regarding your connection. So they're deciding now to take action towards it. Trying to figure out, well, do I want to move towards this? Six of Cups in reverse for me can be nostalgia, missing someone. So I'm picking up those uh, storylines here. Either this person is dealing with their past, they're able to come in now because they took action towards dealing with the conflicts that kept them in this stuck energy, which could have been, as I said, being stuck in the past um, to a past relationship. And they're dealing with that, uh, so now they're able to actually move forward and move towards you and they may reach out, even though I feel like there is still some indecision now, but for there to even be indecision, if you're not sure, there's still that possibility, like them wanting to, but not 
not knowing when they should or how they should. The other scenario that I'm getting is that they're taking action towards you because they're really caught up in the past with you feeling nostalgic, missing you. Because in the past, they were conflicted about moving into anything, putting in the effort, not really knowing if they wanted to move into anything with the Hierophant and the lovers over here. Because like I said, this person may have been really, really focused on their own life. So I'm definitely feeling like this person was just self-involved in the past or this person was dealing with something from the past that hurt them and they were trying to work through that. Definitely one of those scenarios. But right now you're just doing you. You know that you deserve love. I feel like you did set boundaries with this person at some point. But with Love Begins, I feel like this person's going to be coming back in. One is all about new beginnings, opportunities. And I think the universe with this commitment is being tested is really asking, you know, is are you sure this is what you want? So if this person hasn't come in yet, really think about that. If you really want this person, of course, this is up to you whether or not you are going to accept this cup or not. But this is a win-win outcome is forecast, so... It's like, I feel like this person may have needed to go through some lessons and learn and really take a look at what it is that they really want. And you may have pulled away, decided to focus on you. You may have been experiencing some uh, personal growth in other areas of your life. For some of you, I feel like other areas of your life may have taken off and you may be seeing positive results in those areas between you know, the time when this kind of ended or took a turn for the worst and this person actually coming back in again. I don't know why I got that, but... And it's just like, if you walk away from this person and, and you don't want to accept their cup, that's totally fine too. It looks like you're going to be fine on your own. But if you do want to accept this cup, it looks like both of you will be winning here. Um, and, and the thing is, is sometimes dealing with that hurt and that pain, needing to let someone go, you know, that's not fun. That's very hurtful. It really can get us stuck in our heads. But it's better when a person, if they're not entirely sure, because we cannot control the actions of others, their thoughts, their feelings. So if this person isn't sure, it's better that the connection doesn't move forward. Because if they're not sure, there's always that chance if they move into anything, there will be heartbreak. You know, there will be unfortunate circumstances. But when this person leaves, doesn't continue the connection and comes back because they were indecisive before it, it can come across as this person finding clarity and now knowing, feeling sure. And that's, that can be a good thing. It depends on your personal situation, but if someone is overly cautious and not wanting to move into anything, then when they do come back, you can feel like they are confident that they really do want to invest, that they're serious about it because there's nothing worse than someone acting like they're certain and sure and then you get into a relationship and it falls apart. You know, it ends up like how this did. But I'm really feeling like this person did not enter a connection with you because they knew that they weren't ready. For some of you, maybe they did, but that's just for like, a couple of you and this I have a feeling this could have ended pretty quickly because there was frustration in this relationship on the person's end that wasn't seeing the necessary effort from the other person so that is what I'm really getting for you Scorpios um, 
overall, this is a really, really positive reading. I'm really glad that for now you're just doing your own thing, but if this story uh, line does resonate with you, it really seems like regardless of which storyline, this person is going to come back in and offer something. I mean, and we have the lovers out, so... This is overall really, really good. So if you uh, want to join me over at the extended, the link below, uh, sorry, there is a link below in the description box. And in that extended, we are going to dive in more about this person's feelings, more about their actions when they come back in towards you, uh, their intentions when they do come back in more about this lovers card definitely um anything about the situation that you may not know that you should know and just some general advice and guidance uh regarding this situation so that you can navigate it a bit better when this person comes in you know regarding communication things you should be aware of anything like that just so that you can um really know what to expect here. So yeah, that's what I'm getting for you. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and that it resonated. If it did, like I said, the extended link is in the description box below. Uh, however, if this provided enough clarity for you and this is where we part ways, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and please, please, please comment below. Uh, let me know how this storyline resonated for you. Please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye.